Hello YouTube, this is Jay, and today I'm going to show you the difference between Serial Print, which we used in our last tutorial, and Serial Write, as well as Serial Read, because we didn't cover that either. So, let me just pull this up for a second. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a byte, and we're going to make that a byte x equals 72. And the reason I'm using 72 is because if you remember from our last tutorial, H is 48 hex, which is 72. So we should we should be able to print H from this byte. Next, we're going to create a serial dot begin 9600. And we got our serial port set up. And then lastly, we're going to do serial dot print ln and then x okay so if we do this and let's put in a delay what we expect to see is the value 72 which is, so x equals 72 so we're going to print x and x is 72 so let's go ahead and program that and open the serial monitor and there you go so we're getting we're getting our 72 as expected and then we're going to come back in here let's go ahead and get rid of that and instead of doing print we'll do serial dot write x and we'll also put in a little space between it serial dot print and a space okay so we're gonna write x which will write the byte X, which is 72 and instead of seeing 72 this time what we should see is the the serial monitor is going to convert that byte into the ASCII value which is H so let's program that okay serial monitor and there you go so just like just like we expected we should probably put a space here let's put that or print new line and that'll just that'll just increment to the uh, the next line, so it'll be more it'll be neat. There you go. So seventy two and H as expected. So that's the difference between print and write. And that's so depending on what you're doing, you may want to print the value, or you may want to print the byte, and that's pretty much the difference. And then for the read, uh, instead of typing that, I'll go ahead and open an example. So let's go to digital, sorry, communication, and then we'll do a physical pixel, which just opened up there. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Okay, and this example will show us how to use serial read. I'm gonna walk through with you on this one. Uh, so the LED, again, we have our LED connected to pin down. I got rid of the breadboard for this one. I just needed the LED, so I just mounted it on the, on the board. We have an integer incoming byte, so that's where we're going to store the information coming from the computer now instead of sending to the computer. Then we have the serial dot begin. We are making our LED an output, and then we're in the loop. So in the loop, the first thing you want to do is wait for information to be available on the serial port. So serial.available is greater than zero. So that means that there's something available for us. So as long as there's something available, this will execute. If not, it'll just, it'll never get into the if statement. So if something is available, read that information. So serial.read, save it in incoming byte. And then if the incoming byte equals, equals H, then we'll make the LED high and if the incoming byte equals low, or L, then we'll make it low. And that's pretty much it, and that just sits in a loop. The rest of this code down here is meant to run on a processing sketch, which allows the computer to send information to it without using the serial, or without using the serial monitor, but for our example, this should be plenty. So let's go ahead and press upload. Okay, we're done uploading. And so what we should see now is we should be able to send H and press send here. And we get the LED to come on. And then if we put L and press send, the LED goes off. And you can do, you know, 
anything you want, but send a bunch of them and you'll see. Yeah. So every every byte gets processed. And that's it. That's how you use serial.read. Um, there are many more commands. And if you go to the Adreno website, you can go to the serial library references and you can see all kinds of different serial commands, which we won't walk through each and every one, but you definitely would want to, you know, come and take a look at some of these and see what they all do so that you can use them in your code. Thank you so much and see you next time.